Hello food fans, we're going to have a bacon and tomato sandwich without any meat. This is a Morningstar Farms bacon veggie strips and they uh, taste great. I like them better than real bacon. And a tomato from the garden. And I'm going to also have a sandwich that will have a chicken type sandwich, but there's no meat in this one either. This is a chicken patty from Boca, so we'll have that to eat and we'll uh, talk a little bit about some of the people I used to work with, uh, have a couple of more names and I've got a long list yet to go of people that I've worked with but we'll do a couple today. So let's get started. And we have everything done. Make sure you keep the kids away from the hot stove and what I will do is uh, make a bacon and tomato sandwich. This uh, veggie bacon is very very crisp and uh, I like it that way and it tastes better than regular bacon Morningstar Farms strips in my opinion. I like it better than bacon. And what I'm going to do is get some uh, tomato here from the garden. Actually I'll put some mustard onto the toast. I toasted some whole wheat bread and uh, see what we got here. I already got some of the mustard on me. I'm the mustard man. A little bit of mustard and a little bit of uh, relish on this bacon and tomato sandwich. By the way, I've got a salad here also. My salad is the same old salad that I like. Cabbage, tomatoes, and carrots with a dressing made out of relish and mayonnaise and ketchup. Mm -hmm. Salad is good. And I will say again, I think cabbage is especially good for you. I have cabbage just about every day and have had cabbage almost every day for at least the last 20 years or so. And cabbage usually I have it as a uh, raw vegetable either in a salad or coleslaw. Let's see how can I make this uh, turn over upside down and not spill too much. Bacon and tomato sandwich with no meat. The bacon has a very delicious taste and it's got the crunchiness. It's like eating a saltine cracker as far as crunchiness. Great tasting bacon and tomato. The tomato was growing, growing in my garden about um, probably two weeks ago. I picked it. It was green, and I waited for it to turn red. And I am the world's best tomato farmer. Sunny day here on Wednesday. Time for root beer. Root beer and bacon and tomato. That is a great combination. I highly recommend it. Me put this down for a minute, get some salad, and I'll talk a little bit about people I've worked with. I'll just 
have a couple of people in this video that I work with and I'll eventually catch up with all the names. Salad is good as always. I'll take this uh, hamburger bun for the chicken burger from Boca, B O C A, in the frozen food section. Then I'll put in a little bit of bacon on the Boca Burger. Mm, some relish. I worked with Tommy Sands. Tommy Sands was a sensation. He, um, uh, had the young lady screening for him. Back in 1956 he had a song that was in the top five. A big song called Teenage Crush. He worked with Tommy Sands. First of all I saw him in 1956 uh, right after I'd moved to Los Angeles. He used to sing on the Tennessee Ernie Ford show. And I'd go to see that. Not even imagining that I would ever sing on the same show as Tommy Sands, but uh, I did sing on shows with him at the Palomino Club and in Newhall, Cliffy Stone, who was Tommy Sands' manager, used to put on a show every summer in Newhall with a lot of uh, big name performers. And he had me on the show maybe ten times total I worked the show, and often with Tommy Sands. The chicken burger, I have no trouble recommending it. And this stuff is easy to fix. I put the uh, chicken burger, which has no meat, in the microwave, in a microwave dish, this microwave dish, and I let it cook for 35 seconds, and the chicken burger is kept in the freezer. I cooked it for 35 seconds, and the bacon adds a lot to it. I cooked the chicken patty for 35 seconds, then I put the bun and the bun had been in the freezer also. Put the bun in for another 12 to 15 seconds. And it cooks up really nice, really nicely. That'd be an adverb, wouldn't it? Mmm. Good, good stuff. Tommy Sands made some good movies. He was in Babes in Toyland with Annette Funicello. He was in The Longest Day. He was in a movie called Sing Boy Sing. Tommy was always nice to work with on a show. I like very much his recording of that old <clears throat> that old oak, oaken bucket. You can probably find that at YouTube. Chicken sandwich time now.
the only other person I'll talk about having worked with in this video. Just have two people I mentioned, Tommy Sands and Clint Eastwood. I worked with Clint Eastwood way in the background in a scene in um, The Gauntlet. The Gauntlet, not a great movie, but lots and lots of action, bullets flying, explosions. And that was in Las Vegas when I was in Las Vegas. Then later, worked with him in California. A movie called Heartbreak Ridge. I'm barely visible in the movie, but my car, the Rambler, the yellow blur, is seen because Clint Eastwood came over to where the extras were sitting in our lawn chairs and waiting for a job, not waiting for a job, we had the job, we were waiting for whatever our scene would be. And Clint Eastwood came over and he said, who owns the Rambler? And I said, I do. But we had a parking lot nearby and of course the Rambler was in the parking lot. And Clint Eastwood said, that car has character. I want that right here, right up front, right. That car has character. Right in front of the cafe where he has to come running out of the cafe and the car is going to be seen. He wants it to be the right car. He wanted the yellow blur or the rambler. The car has character. So the yellow blur got seen in movies again. The car got me a lot of work. And Clint Eastwood was a real nice person to work with. When it came time for lunch, he got in line. Like everyone else, he didn't get to the front of the line. He'd get in the back of the line. He would sit down with whoever was around at the table they were walking to. Uh, he didn't just seek the producers and the directors and the money people. He just sat down with everybody. He, he liked being around extras and I guess he still likes it. Uh, he's 90 years old now. Another movie I worked with uh, and he's with on, and also still, still not really seen in a movie called uh, It Escapes Me. I'll put it on the screen. Something City. A movie that Clint Eastwood made with Burt Reynolds, and supposedly both. Clint and Bert were fired from Universal on the same day. They were told they would never make it in movies. And they were making this movie at Universal. It was a fun movie to work on. Clint and Bert, Clint and Bert Reynolds both were very likable. It was always fun to work with them. Bacon tomato sandwich. is history. And the chicken sandwich with no meat. Has about maybe three bites left in it. And the bacon goes good on a veggie chicken sandwich. Veggie bacon with veggie chicken. Thank you for watching.